Hey everybody, Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. Okay, today I'm going to do a real short video because I notice you guys don't like videos that are over 10 minutes long. Can't blame you. And today we're going to be uh, addressing the issues of the shift mechanisms on the Dodge Magnums, the Dodge Chargers. If you can't get it out of park and you've tried everything and you went in there and you pushed on the little pink uh, detent on there and you can't get it out of park, I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. Now I'm going to make it a quick video so you're going to have to stay with me real close. But the idea is to get this little guy out right here. I'll get a close-up of that so you can see it. All right, and this is the little culprit right here. He's made out of plastic. They always break where the spring is held onto, and that keeps you from putting it into drive and giving you a bad day. So we're going to pull it apart real fast and try to make this a quick video. Let's go. Okay, let's go over some of the tools that we're going to need. Real short and simple. One of these little pry guys, you can buy an AutoZone checker. I'm telling you, this is going to make the job so much easier. A 10 millimeter socket on a long extension, of course, with the ratchet to go with it. Flathead screwdriver. A Phillips screwdriver. And some kind of ice pick tool. Um, we call them a detent tool, like a little pick tool. You're going to need that to push in on the plastic detents. Very important. And if you happen to have a magnet, just in case to get those little tiny nuts out of there. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, today we're working on an 07 Dodge Charger. And the uh, owner of the vehicle cannot get it out of park. It's stuck. Selector's stuck in there. Uh, most of the times, if you pull out this guy right here, and if you look right down in here, you'll see a little pink tab. You can push in on this. And a lot of times the selector will come over and you can put it into gear. But on most of these models, there's a, another pink piece right here in the front that you can't see uh, that the spring comes off of. So that's what we're going off of and that's the biggest complaint with these uh, vehicles on the Magnums and the Dodge Chargers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get this guy off right here. So to do that, take a really small screwdriver and... To get them off, you just simply separate the two right here. See that? Pop down on that. This guy will come off right there. Then you get your flathead screwdriver out. And you're going to stick him right in between these two little grooves right there. Do you see that? Okay, I know the camera's shaky, but bear with me. So we're going to stick him in here like that. Separate. And he comes right off. See that? and we can pull him off as well. Okay, next we're going to get this chrome piece off right here. Gently take a flathead screwdriver, get it underneath the lip here, and pop up. Be very careful because it's just plastic. And pull that out of the way. Okay, next we're going to go for this outer piece right here. The easiest way to do that is to pull this little rubber mat up right here. If you can't get it off with your fingers, take a small screwdriver and you pry up on it gently get them out now if you look carefully down in there without blinding you'll see two small Phillips screwdriver screws you're gonna pull those out first after you get your two Phillips screwdrivers screws out of there there's two plastic clips back here that hold the back end all you have to do is reach in, pull up, and then you can see the two metal or plastic and metal tangs in the back there. See that? Whole unit comes right out of there. Okay, now you have a little bit more access there. You can see the uh, the first interlock pink plastic release here, and of course the one that everyone has problems with is the one that's located. I can barely see it where my index finger is touching, right about in there. See that? And that's what we're going for. Okay. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to pull the ashtray out, which is this guy right here. Now it's just held on with four plastic tangs, so we're going to reach in there and grab him and pull him out gently. So you just go in there and pull. Both sides, there's four of them. Be gentle. Okay, disconnect the wiring on the back of the cigarette lighter. 
and then pull the cigarette lighter ashtray out. And what that does is it gives you more clearance down here for these two cables that you're going to have to be working with next. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the detent cable uh, that's for the uh, interlock switch, which is the one that's giving us problems. Now be really careful. There's a small release right here on the side. Do you see this? So you're going to reach in with your hand. Grab him. Push in on this detent right here. See that? Not too hard. And you're going to pull straight up. And it'll slide right out of there. And then the cable comes off by pushing forward and then out. Just kind of tuck him to the side for now. All right, next, we're gonna focus on this guy right here, which is a shifting cable. And if you look, it's attached down here, which goes to the shifting arm right here. Okay, so if you look carefully, you gotta be real careful with this. Right down here, there's a small black hole. I don't know if you can see that. So what you're going to do is take your ice pick tool and you're going to shove it in that little hole right there and you're going to push gently. As you do so, you're going to lift straight up. Slide right up out of there like such. Alright, next take your pry bar tool. You're going to get in between him. You're going to gently pry him out. Until he comes off like such. That's the shifter cable right there. Now you can move him out of the way. Okay, next we're going to be pulling out the four bolts. You can see one here, and you can see one here. And there's two others, one down here in the back, and another one down here in the back that I've already removed. You're going to take them out with your extension and your 10 millimeter socket. You're going to pull the unit out gently, but don't tug on them too hard. You still have some wiring down here on the bottom that has to come out. You've got one right here, and you got one right here. See these two? So disconnect him, and disconnect him. Okay, so we got our whole shift mechanism out. Not too bad. There's the pink interlock that we're going after. See him right there in the corner? All right, you want to take this top piece off. There's a light bulb here on the side. It's a two wire. Turn him counterclockwise to get him out, like such. Then there's four plastic prongs that hold this guy on. Pull those off and he comes off the top. Then what you're left with is this guy right here. See that? And you're wanting to get into this guy, the pink guy. All right, so there's four plastic little tangs that hold this top piece on. One, two, there's another one there, three and four. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take these off, pull this top piece off, and it'll give you full access to that so you can get that spring back on there. Okay, so once you get this all off, he slides right off. You're going to find that spring, the factory spring that goes on him. You're going to drill a hole, put a tab in there, however you want to lock it in, put the spring back on, put this back on, and you put it all back together. Now I know that this is a really fast video, uh, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet. Now if you have questions, um, leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. This is not really that difficult of a procedure, um, but the trick is finding out a substitute to put on for that spring in there. So uh, I'm going to leave that up to you. But anyway. So I hope this has helped out with all you uh, Chrysler fans out there where they have the Dodge Magnum and uh, the Dodge Charger. Uh, once you get this back together, I guarantee it's going to work. So anyway, I hope this has helped. Until next time, this has been Jeff Williams with AskJeffWilliams.com saying, hope you can get it in gear.